That's amazing. It's like blue. Wow. The more we see and do, the more I fall in love with our world. Whoa. I mean, he's like literally right next to us. He's like a foot away. 2.2 miles, 2,800 feet of elevation gain. Oh, yay, yay. We are Brittany and Drew, and for the past six years, we've been exploring the world by van. From the US to Canada, Europe to Africa, finding so much peace, inspiration, and joy in immersing ourselves in the great unknown. But now, with our world changing what feels like every single day, our route feels more unknown than ever before. But luckily, we have found comfort and direction in exploring our country's awe-inspiring national parks. And now, after sharing with you the two-part alpine majesty that is the North Cascades National Park, we're taking you with us to our eighth national park of the summer and the fourth one our world has ever known, the highest mountain in Washington and the fourth highest in the U.S. Welcome to Mount Rainier, the almighty colossus and the glorious wonderland that encircles its water gushing slopes. It's literally called Wonderland. We really loved it here. We invite you to subscribe and buckle up as we embark on yet another adventure together. Let's take in a deep breath and let it out. And now, it's time to enjoy the show. Tucked away, high up in the evergreens of Washington State, just a few miles away from the glacier-capped volcano of Mount Rainier, we were filled with wonder and could no longer ignore the beckoning to go explore the 14,410 foot sacred slopes of what the Indians used to call the Great Mountain where all waters begin. You guys know the routine by now. Gotta pack the lunch, get the snacks ready, feel the camel backs up, because we got a big adventure on the horizon. Did you hear that? Who could it be? There's somebody at our door. Did we get a doorbell installed? <laughs> Ooh, a special delivery from the sponsor of today's episode. How exciting. Real life delivered. It's living. <laughs> it's alive. What's in there? Bloomscape is plant delivery made easy. Every Bloomscape plant arrives in tip-top condition as they're kept in a greenhouse and cared for by plant experts until the moment that they ship. Look at that cool pot. It's made of 80% recycled materials and you can even pick your color. With customizable pot colors and plant species galore, Bloomscape makes it easy and fun to transform your space with greenery. Plus, Drew and I were stoked to find their simple, customized care instructions that are included with each plant. And if we have any questions along the way, their plant mom team is on standby for real-time expert support. Step 1. Remove the brown cocoa fiber mat, which has been included to help hold the soil in place. And 2. Keep or remove the wood shavings. This is the cocoa fiber mat. I think we should keep this on top because it'll hold the dirt in place in our van. I think that's best for mobile living. Here you go, honey. Thank you. Boom. One money tree. Ooh, you're bringing the money tree home? Bringing home the money. Where are we gonna put this one? We didn't even have to leave our house to become new plant parents. <laughs> and neither do you guys. All you have to do is click on the link below to get $10 off your first order with Bloomscape. He's such a good plant baby. <laughs> now that our new plants are secure, it's safe for us to hit the road. That evening, we relocated from one national forest spot to another, so we could be that much closer to the paradise side of the park. 
where we would be headed to early the next morning to begin our extreme ascent to the primary base camp for Mount Rainier Summit Expeditions. Beautiful spot. Tonight's dinner, basmati rice with bok choy, kale, falafel loaf, and avocado. Oh yeah. You excited? I'm very excited about my burger. <laughs> Drew's I got, having... I got sandwich bun burger. <laughs> sandwich bun burger times two. Times two. Sometimes we don't eat the same thing. Because Drew likes his meat and that's alright. You know? I wanted to do a little altitude check before we go up the mountain. Last night we didn't acclimate at all. We're only at 1900 feet so we're gonna be going up to 10,000 feet. Wow. That's like an 8,500 foot elevation change. Yeah, like 8,000. We're definitely gonna be feeling it. Luckily the trailhead starts at about 6,000 feet but we will be going up to 10,000, a little over. With a 45 minute drive to the trailhead, we were off. Any maps? Entrance station closed. No, unfortunately. Many entrance stations don't open before 7 a.m., but we had our annual pass already in hand. It is one blue sky, blue bird day. Blue bird. The temperatures have been dropping. It's about 40 degrees where we are now. And we haven't even shared with you guys where we're hiking to yet today. We're going to be going all the way up to Camp Mir, which is the base camp for mountaineers who summit that amazing 14er that I'm looking at right now. Wow, there's a very full parking lot. Whoa. Whoa. Well, we could park right here, right? Yeah, it's just park over here. Yeah. Good breakfast spot. Hard to leave to start the hike. <laughs> no, I think we could hang out here all day. Yeah, we definitely could. But. Look at that mountain. She's Hello. calling our name. <laughs> Got my polarized glasses to help with snow blindness, which is a real thing up here. Also, lots of sunscreen, water, more snacks than we think that we're gonna need because when it comes to hiking with lots of elevation gain, you end up being like pretty ravenous and really thirsty. So I think we're all set. I'm also anticipating having way too many clips for this episode. For all of our National Parks episodes, I've been averaging about 300 clips. So this is definitely a labor of love. It's not a normal vlog that you edit, drop in the clips and you're done. They're like artful documentary masterpieces that I love creating for you guys, so. It's pretty hard though. There's so many beautiful spots to film and it just, there's beauty all around us. So tap that like if you are already loving this episode and if you wanna take it a step further, check out our Patreon page where you can pledge an amount of money per creation or per month that we share videos with you all. We love creating for you. Let's get this hike started. We have four and a half miles of 4,800 feet of elevation gain. Yeah, I just checked that. and we're at 5,400 feet now, so let's get climbing. Man, oh what man. What do you say? What a day. Bye, little guy. Stay cozy. See you on the flip side. These guys with all their skiing gear. A lot of people will actually choose to ski or glissade down the mountain after having hiked up. Maybe we can slide down on our butts. Good morning. Just trying to grab my map. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Look at this thing. I love collecting these. Wow. We are right here. Yep, at the Paradise Inn. And you see Camp Mir on there? Uh, oh yeah, that's yeah. where we're going. 
Good thing I just remembered. Let's turn on the tracker and see how far we go. Training started. <laughs> you like doing that? Yes. The more we hike and adventure and explore these national parks, the more I realize like how completely magical our world is. And like, I would think that I'd be jaded by now, but I am just, the more we see and do, the more I fall in love with our world. Places like this just remind us how much we love the outdoors. Oh, and there's 12 ways that you can reach the summit from where we are right now, which is paradise. And um, Camp Mir is like the number one spot where the mountaineers who do summit will end up camping the night before, so. Cool, well, let's get up there to that camp. We're gonna be taking the Skyline Trail today. Can you see that? Enter this enchanted cave. <laughs> That's cool. Look at that big old beautiful mountain. Whoa. I wonder where we're gonna end up. We're gonna end up somewhere on the glacier up. Maybe not quite this high, but. We timed the wildflower season impeccably up here, and I wanna show you my favorite flower on the trail. That is the magnesia paintbrush. So cool looking. It's artful. I love the name. Me too. You just pluck it and paint with it. But we're not going to do that. <laughs> That's a cool bench. It's like a great resting spot. <laughs> What's it say on there? It's the site of the camp from which General Hazard Stevens and PB Van Trump made the ascent of Mount Rainier from this spot on August 17th. And in 1870. That was a yeah, long time 1870. ago. 1870. And it was an Indian, a Sluiskin Indian, who waited for him or them. I guess there were two. Probably kept the bears out of the camp and tents and everything, right? Yeah, all their food. Wow. <laughs> waited for their return. I can't imagine them camping here way back then in their canvas tents. That was a long way up. I mean, that's a lot more elevation than from Camp Mir. Yeah, it's crazy. I wonder if they actually did it in one day, like start in the dark? I think so, yeah. That was before electricity and Edison invented the light bulb. So they must have had like torches if they yeah, were in the dark. I wonder. Wow. Cool. I was told that you belong on the riverside. Goodness, he's huge. That big old dude. He's fearless. He's used Whoa. to people coming around us for sure. Yeah, he really doesn't care. Whoa. Hey guy. I mean he's like literally right next to us. He's like a foot away. Whoa. Looking for munchies. Amazing! It's like blue. Wow! It's, it's bl totally blue. It's an igloo. Wow! Cool. I feel like we're in a turtle shell. <laughs> stay low. Stay low. <laughs> <laughs> that was so cool. So cool. Wow! <laughs> Let's do that again. It is amazing. Wow. <laughs> Check this out. That is Wilson Glacier Falls. Beautiful. Things gushing. We just made it to Panorama Point. We're gonna show you three epic mountains in the Cascades right now. Mount Adams, look at that thing. You got 
Mount Hood. Uh, it's a little hard to see. And over here where we were last June, you should check out our episode on Mount St. Helens. We haven't met anyone who's made it to the top yet. It was quite the blizzard getting up that guy. You look right there. All the people climbing up there. That'll be us in a minute. Good thing we got crampons and poles. This guy just skied down. He looks pretty wiped. I bet he got up early. I bet he had an epic time shredding down these glacial slopes. We got a skier. Wow. Can't believe we're hiking on the same thing that this person's skiing on. Is that a big yawn I just heard? <laughs> I'm in trouble. You are in trouble. To be quite honest, I'm feeling a little bit nervous about this ascent. You got this. <sighs> 2.2 miles, 2,800 feet of elevation gain. Oh, yay, yay. Yay, yay, yay. I picked you up to go somewhere. Can you imagine having a big pack on headed up this? Oh my. Yeah, these guys in front of us have them. It's time to put on our crampons. Let's gear up. There we go. Hey. Yeah. Hey yeah. Hey yeah. <laughs> With our powers combined, <laughs> we can do anything. We've been going for about three and a half hours. We just asked a fellow hiker. He said about another 45 minutes left to go. So we're gonna have some lunch and watch the clouds as they roll in below us. It's pretty magical. I got Drew a GoPro mouthpiece. That's for... pretty comfy in the mouth. Cool. Yeah, it's just like a sports mouth guard, but connected to the camera. Oh man, you're doing great. You know, it's not as hard as I was anticipating from down there. Yeah. I just want to say everything is harder before you take action. You know, before you just start doing the work and you're in the flow and we're still flowing up this guy. Yeah. Alrighty. As we continued to persevere upwards, before we knew it, our destination was in sight, along with views of the incredible crevasses or deep wedge-shaped openings that usually form in the top layer of a glacier where the ice is the most brittle. caught it. We've been noticing bags whipping down the mountain, so I hope people are being responsible with their plastic bags because they're using them as sleds. That was pretty relentless. That wind is crazy. My crampon caught my thing. Very good. Oh man. We cracked the lens a little. Oh man. Scratch on there. At least it wasn't your face. Yeah. Shoot. A couple little scratches. Maybe that's why we shouldn't have crampons on when walking on the rocks. <laughs> caught my shoelace. This is the coolest hiking pool I've ever seen. I got tired of carving down about here so that. I just started putting stickers and getting all the, you know, they sell these like at different gift shops and stuff. Right. Were made for going on a walking stick, so. The medallions. 
Yeah. And you painted it. Yeah, it's got all kinds of got layers and layers of lacquer and stuff on it. Or not lacquer, but a, a, a clear sealer. Does he have a name? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> 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 this actually right here, this this is the the ring from uh, the Lord of the Rings, the one ring. Oh, amazing. It's got the Elvish writing on it and all that. Yeah. That is really yeah. awesome. Also want to point out behind us here yeah. is the oldest structure in the entire park. This was erected in memory of John Muir back in 1921. And it's basically for all of the mountaineers who go to summit this incredible mountain. Understandably, it was closed due to COVID. And so, until it opens again, mountaineers are forced to brave the elements, which, the week that we were there, winds reached up to 86 miles an hour. Do you believe people have been coming up here for 150 years? It's incredible. One of our biggest inspirations and one of our favorite people in the entire universe, Skip Yowl. He started Jan Sport. It's the entire reason Drew and I met. Yeah. We should make an entire video about that. About how we met. But that's a story for another time. That's for another day. But Skip Yowl is near and dear to our hearts. <laughs> yeah, and, he used uh, to come up here mountaineering and he actually created the dome tent. And yeah. that's a huge thing. They would test him for his outfitter and everything on this mountain. And the entire Jansport team would summit Rainier yeah. every single summer. Yeah. Usually on my birthday too. What's wild is you can actually see the parking lot where our van is from here. <laughs> that was the most relentless. Uphill. Yes. <laughs> down. All these people are gonna be staying right there. They're probably summiting in the morning. Dang. It's crazy they traverse here and go more up there and then curl onto the back. <sighs> now we get to go down. Always worth it. <laughs> Need a push. This is really, really cold on the bum. past three national parks. It's a mountain goat for you. They're so peaceful. Looking for your friend? Alan! Alan! I don't know, I haven't seen him. He might be on the other side of the mountain. Alan! Alan! He used to look the other way. Oh, he's going. He's like, all right, guys. So we ended up taking the Skyline Trail counterclockwise, and it just so turns out that we get the best view of Mount Rainier right now. So it's on the left side of the loop. Check this out. We hiked all the way right up here. Can you believe that? Wow. There it is, eight hours and 29 minutes. We went 12.26 miles. Nice. Nice. It's not about speed, it's about enjoying the journey though, right? It was pretty enjoyable. <laughs> One more look at that mountain, just because it's so beautiful. Looking on from paradise. I get why they call it paradise now. A lot of people enjoying the outdoors up here tonight. Yeah. It is an A-plus evening. After an A-plus day. No matter how many times we leave, it always feels so, so good to come back home. 
home. Nice and warm for our little guy waiting for us. Oh, look, he looks so happy. He does. <laughs> so green, jumping for joy. That's fun. It's like a puppy, but less maintenance. Great job today. <sighs> It sure feels nice to be clean, have all of our bags unpacked and tidied, ready for the next adventure. Another beautiful adventure for the book. Yeah, a grand adventure at that. Thank you all for joining us. Thanks and... for pushing us along for those eight and a half hours. We, yeah. really, we really need your encouragement and I yeah. even slid down. You did. That was really fun. That was a highlight, being yeah. in that cool cave sliding. Oh my gosh. One of the best, most fun descents of any hike ever. Yeah. Yeah. So next time we'll take garbage bags so we slide a little faster. If you guys are enjoying our national park series, please be sure to tap that like, subscribe, yeah. and hit that bell so you yeah. don't miss a beat. And share with a friend or somebody else you think would like our episodes or our entertainment or just learning about our love and joy that we're spreading for the outdoors. And we love being able to take you into the great outdoors yeah. just by joining in through your screen. It's amazing that we it get to do amazing. that. It is amazing. We feel very honored and are so grateful for it. So thank you guys and we will see you next week. Thanks for being awesome. We are off to find a place to live in the forest. That's right. Let's go. To the forest we go. <laughs>